Good morning Pisces. Welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I do readings for the Pisces Collective. Now I got a lot from these cards, Pisces, the spiritual guidance. They always do. Spiritual guidance day is like, you know, tapping into spirit and letting them speak. It's not just telling you how your week's going. It's like them giving you like their top pointers. So there's always a lot coming in on these days. Um, before I even started doing this yesterday, this came through. What's your, what's your life trying to reveal to you? What is it trying to tell you? With the changes, the changes and the sacred mirror, when I reflected on these, I thought that's exactly it. There's a reflection. There's something trying to be shown to you, okay? And the other part that came through was don't seek perfection but understanding okay don't ask for everything to be perfect in other words don't always think that there's we're always a very problem solution based society there's a problem we find a solution and we think that's it that's the end all and be all the thing is the other right this morning um the funniest part, the, the, the funniest, it's not the funniest, but it's the, the most disgusting. What came first, the chicken or the egg? There's always been the chicken or the egg. And then they said, oh, we figured out that it's the egg that came, whatever. But the thing about it is, is that you need one for the other. Just like darkness, you need light. Just like, um, it's like they can't exist without being part of each other. And the other part is, is, is that I've, wrote down, and I know it comes from the Tao, okay, and it's the first one, and I started laughing because, I'll explain to you what Spirit was saying, they said, the thing that can be defined can no longer be defined by that thing, and the part of it is, is that everybody is translating the, the, the Tao, and they translate it as soon as they're defining it in their way, they're, in essence, then it no longer can be defined by how they defined it. Do you understand? I hope that you understand. It's like saying, um, I don't know, it's like saying this is that, and as soon as you give it a name and you give it a definition, it then changes into something else. You can no longer, it's like you can't pin it down. And it all came in with this changes card. It all came in with not restricting yourself anymore. And the other cards came in, play. It's more important for you to play than to worry about the boundaries, because this is unbound, about the boundaries um, that you're trying to pin down, okay? You're trying to pin something down. You're trying to give it a, a purpose, an understanding. We do that as humans. We need that. We feel we need that security. I need to, to, to make it square so they can put it in a box and I can understand it. The thing is, is you can put it in there, but it will only stay in there so long. Change is constant. The best that you can do is play. And this is what the sacred mirror is trying to show you, that you have to let go of these things. It's written right here, okay? Releasing soul patterns, contract, and past lives. 
the card that came through the oracle in the week when we were looking at this is um, quiet the mind. In other words, let it go. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to read to you what the changes has to say here. Or the sacred mirror, actually. I'm going to read that first. Knowing more about yourself. Uh, witnessing sacred evolution. That one is the one that really um, got to me. Because evolution of this planet will rely on the, on the way that we see it. It's not pinning it down, it's setting it free. So that's part of that. Yeah, and you can tell that it's spiritual guidance day because Jane is, is trying to translate <laughs> spirit language, which is... <laughs> It comes in as a knowing, it comes in as a feeling, it doesn't necessarily come in as a word. And that's perfect for this, because it can't be pinned down, it can't be um, defined. This message coming down to any of you as light workers who are light workers, could turn around and explain it in a totally different way. And it would be the same message. But that's exactly, this This applies for every person that takes these things in. They define it in their own very special way. And that's why I feel that spiritual work, when you're getting downloads, you get memory loss after. Because nothing sticks, nothing is defined. It's something that needs to be released, let go, and it doesn't, it has wings. It takes flight. It takes flight in you. Some of it you take and you go with, and some of it you let go. Okay? But it's different for every single one. And that's the beauty of it. Okay? It's very much like this, this little, uh, which reminds me of a dandelion once it's done. You blow on it and the, and all the particles, they fly just about everywhere. So this is how you should treat your life in a way that you should, once you've grown it and you've succeeded, you need to let it go. You need to set it free. You need to unbound yourself from the chains that we like because even with success, some people, I've succeeded, then they have, they feel they have to replicate it. They have to get more. They have to get bigger houses, bigger things, and they just, they, they, chain themselves to the things that they wanted to set themselves free, okay? So the sacred mirror is showing you a different way, a different way, and the way is through play, enjoying your passions, looking at your life as something to celebrate, okay? All right, so we're going to go here. Sacred mirrors are all around. We're connected to other souls on this planet, and every single interaction, no matter how great or how tiny, can carry a message or a meaning. Just as you can only really understand the concept of light when you've understood the concept of dark, <laughs> so too you can you only understand who you are when you really begin to see others. We see sameness in others, we see difference. They offer us glimpses of our own true selves through their reflection. Look for a lesson in the coming days, a sacred mirror that will refract and reverberate throughout your being and shed light on your truest form. Sometimes mirrors serve to teach us how unique we are because of the contrasting and opposite nature they unveil. The part that they're coming through with is maybe the person in the mirror that you you see um, is very different than the one who is, is going out there. In other words, don't define yourself by what you see in the mirror. Define yourself as how you want to... by your dreams, okay? Sometimes we pin ourselves down to a, an image that we see of ourselves or a path that we see ourselves. Don't be so bent on the way you're going to get there. Okay? Just start walking to wherever you're going. Okay, so... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Sometimes mirrors serve to teach us how unique we are because of the contrastic and opposite nature they unveil. Exactly. That's what I mean. You look and you think you see something, but then there's something completely different. 
So don't be, don't pin yourself up, don't define yourself because as soon as you do, that's going to change. Ugh, I, I hope you guys are understanding. Sometimes I feel like it's just gibberish coming out, but I know that it's hitting somebody here. It, it has to be. It was very important and it's very, the energy is very intense. So, sometimes, oh yeah. Sometimes mirrors serve to ignite something within us that we had long forgotten. I wish I could do that. I would love to be that brave. I desire that charisma. Is that possible for me? What have your mirrors been showing you lately? And have you been acting on the information they're sending your way? Find solution in these sacred reflections. Okay. How are the people you've been spending time with mirrors of you? Do they make your life better? Right. People are mirrors, right? The people you, if you look at people that you spend a lot of time with, you're going to, they, you, you can get a reflection through their eyes. It's very important, that part, too. Explore opportunities to try new things and take risks by communicating in a new way. Allow your community to be a mirror and to show you what works best. Things that push your buttons are often reflection of things we have worked on or things we dislike about ourselves. What bothers you about your current situation that could actually be a reflection of something you'd like to change in yourself? I used to always say that. They say, if you look at somebody and there's something that you don't like, is it because it is something that's reflecting from yourself? I, I was told that a very long time ago, and I'm so sorry I don't remember who told me, but that was, that was something important. That was great. It hurt at first because I thought, well, no, I don't like that person because I don't like that person. But then I had to really sit and wonder, is it because they're showing me a part of themselves that re that resembles my me too much to me that I don't like about me? And, you know, sometimes it was. Sometimes it was. Okay, so the changes card. And that's 10. That's completion. That's an understanding. Also, the number 33 this one, things may be getting out of control. Um, no, it says the natural cycles. Yeah, things may be out of control as if this card was in reverse, but it's not. So, but you may find, I, you know, I don't say anything for nothing. So maybe some of you are feeling that if you let go and you accept changes, that because you can't, you know, put limits or boundaries to something, um, that it's going to get out of control. The wheel's going to spin out of control for you, okay? Um, but this is a natural cycle of life. The only thing that you can be sure of is changes. Changes will come, changes will go, and they'll be permanently always there, okay? The planet turning, the days changing, it ensures that that is the... That's the cycle we're in, in this lifetime. That's the journey we signed up for. So this is destiny, the unfolding of your soul path. I like that. It says, your miracle is coming to you through a change that has already begun. Everything is about to shift, and you're at the right place at the right time. As the wheel of fortune turns, it brings with it some significant blessings. Aren't you ready to breathe in some positive change? I'm pretty sure you ordered it. You may already find yourself in the midst of a lucky vortex, and if so, you're being gifted an incredible opportunity to reach out and grab your success. Don't be afraid to step into something new and to welcome self-improvement and challenge. And as you say yes to novel experiences, is there something you've been wanting to shuffle and upgrade in your life? Is your current situation a bit too small for your big, badass future? So prepare to amp it up a notch. Get ready to embrace Lady Luck and welcome your future with trust and courage because fruit, fruit, fortune favors the brave. There you go. Um, I, yeah, I, I really like this. This is telling you, they're just giving you a leg up. It really is a leg up, um, Pisces. I love it. I, this is a separate book, and I just open up the page, and there's the word mirror, okay? Like I said, these things, they, you know, they're just, they're just there. Okay, so let's see if I can 
Fine Unbound. I found Play. So let's say, stop taking life so seriously. Your spirit needs to have some fun. The more you play, the more inspiration will follow. Take some time out to do something without being attached to the outcome. I just said that. <laughs> You're being called to rest and play and to learn to have more fun. Do something that makes you laugh. Call up a friend that you can be silly with. Take your inner child on a date. The more you switch off your mind, uh, there we go, okay, quiet the mind, the more room your spirit has to whisper and guide. When we do things without being attached to the outcome, ideas, clarity, guidance, and solutions have a space to drop in. The left and right hemispheres of the brain can begin talking to each other, feminine and masculine. Ah, uh-huh, there you go. Okay, um, I'm not saying that you're a right and left hemisphere, I'm just saying action and, you know, the different parts. Some are passive, some are more aggressive. Okay, um, doo -doo -doo. make play a compulsory part of your day. Schedule it. <laughs> Schedule play. Uh, there's something. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so they didn't say spontaneous, they just said play. Spend more time doing things just because you love to do them, just because they bring you joy and light you up. If you follow what lights you up, you will light up the world without even trying. For when you are lit up, you are in your spirit. And when you are in your spirit, you fall into flow with life. How do you play? What do you do to have fun? What lights you up? Have you been working really hard lately? It's time to celebrate how far you've come. All that you've achieved, don't rush on the next thing. Take a moment, throw a party, go on a vacation, and have some fun. Okay? All right, Pisces, let's see what Unbound has to say here, if I can find it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Releasing soul contracts. I was talking about this recently, about the Ten of Pentacles being... Um, ancestors and releasing contracts. As Pisces, we come here and we change the way things have always been done. You know, the abuse, abuse, abuse. Whoops, Pisces ends up in there and then the path following with the children that come in, it gets broken. We don't do it to our children, okay? And there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. As Pisces, we like to come down in troubled sometimes troubled situations to help the situation uh, heal and go in a different path. So it's time to release old soul stories that have been playing out in your life, right? They are coming up to be healed. There has never been a safer time to clear these patterns than right now. Take a look at patterns in your life that you're ready to release. Ancient vows and contracts that your soul made that have an expiry date. And they do, okay? Make sure they do, Pisces. Make sure they do. If you're here and listening to this, it's because they're asking you to end that soul contract. Time for a change. Okay? Time for a change. Um, it could be about or of silence or chastity or poverty. It is time to unwind from them. This is a time in which you free yourself from trauma of life's past. What old ways of being have an expiry date? When you name them, you claim them, and they stop holding power over you. When acknowledging these old patterns, it's also important to acknowledge how they have served you up until now. For example, a soul pattern of playing small. This is the second time I say playing small. Okay? No more playing small, Pisces. Okay? Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, playing small caused by soul fear of being seen or sharing your voice could have served you by keeping you safe. But in order to grow, you now need to soften by receiving and calling in support. It's time to unbind from the old ways of being that are no longer sustainable. All right, Pisces, so I'm, you know, I'm just talking and talking. I haven't pulled one tarot card yet, but it doesn't matter. You know, for some people, sometimes I have people who come here and they go, she hasn't even started a reading yet. I have. This has been all of the reading. Okay? <laughs> this is the reading. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, I know. And some of you say, if you don't like being reading, leave. <laughs> what, what my subscribers say. Okay? Listen to my subscribers. If you don't like what Jane's saying, leave. <laughs> I'm not bad. I'm just. I'm not. I'm not upset. I j I'm just saying that.
there's more than just one way of being a light worker. There's more than just cards. There's more than just your body. There's there's so many ways to bring in the light. Okay, Pisces. All right, so I'm gonna put these up here, and I'm actually gonna pull some cards. And no worries, because I do a second reading, well, we can get in depth with all of them if I don't do in this one. So no worries right there, okay? <laughs> the moon. Didn't we get that yesterday already? Yes, we did, I think. The ten of air. Okay. My door just opened by itself, and it's... It's got a locking mechanism. That's interesting. That was interesting, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Oh, and my phone's going. Ooh, somebody's trying to get my attention. Ten of air. Yeah, that's a card of freedom right there. Okay, ending a stressful situation. You're looking up at these feathers and you're going, you know, those things can fly, and I got a whole bunch of them on my back. What the heck am I doing that? You're unbounding yourself, okay? You're freeing yourself. You're getting insight on it with the moon card, Pisces. You're figuring this stuff out. By the way, did I say you're fabulous? Yes, you are. You're fabulous, okay? When you're looking in that sacred mirror, remember to tell yourself that. We forget. Temptation. This is the apple, okay, for me. Is it the apple? No, it's, it. but right now it is. It looks more like a peach, but let's just call, you know, because that's what's coming in my mind. I'm hearing the sins of Adam and Eve, which is, of course, you know, a Bible story. But it's like the sins of the father, the sins of the mother, the sins of the ancestors that's keeping you like, uh, again, it's coming in. The Empress, creativity. Gorgeous. Okay. Let me keep pulling cards here. Okay, so this should be here. I'm, I'm all like, I'm all not doing what I usually do, Pisces. The Four of Water. The card of Temptation, too, is the Devil card, okay? So, and that's the boundaries. That's freeing yourself from those restrictions, the addictions, the, all of that stuff being bound, okay? This is this is it. Four of water. Ugh. Getting yourself out of stagnation. The eight of earth. Yeah. Hard work. You've been putting in the work, Pisces, most definitely. Yeah. King of Earth. I want to pull the cards out. Four of air, another four. I love it. And the seven of air. Okay. The king of fire. This is the king of, of wands. This is taking the lead on your life. We've been seeing this card a lot. A lot in the last few days. Let's see if I can go a little wider here so you can see a little more. Okay. Alright, Pisces. Let's do this. Mm, yeah, because I've, I've been here long enough. But... This is the way it's going, okay? You're getting insight. You're getting a realization. You can fly. You have the wings. Not only can you see what feathers do, you know that you have them, okay? So it's just time for you to take flight, the temptation, breaking away from those restrictions. That will bring in this beautiful insight. It's going to bring in a lot of creativity for you because it's going to open up doors that you didn't even think about, okay? It's not just doors that you thought you'd never go through, that you had thought about. It's doors you haven't even uh, fathomed, okay? It's going to take you out of stagnation instead of just these four choices, okay? A lot of work coming up your way, though. But it's going to be quality work, and it's going to be the kind of work that's going to bring in play. So it's the kind of work you're going to want to do. It's going to be the kind of work that doesn't feel like work. You're going to take the lead on your life. Okay? You're going to go true to form, through to, true to being the moon sign that you are, Pisces, to the creative, taking it to the ultimate that you've um, 
probably never taken it to before in relationships in your life, in the way that you move. The four of air is about healing. It's about rest. Okay? You're going to heal things, ancestral things, things in your life, things in your parents' life. All of that stuff is going to come up and you're going to take it and you're going to let it go. And the seven of air, absolutely. This is going to be a great safeguard. Um, I'm hearing from them, this is a card of deception and it's the card of, of self-protection. But the thing is with this Pisces is that all of this work is going to actually almost give you, what I'm hearing is it's going to give you a radar for those things. It's going to give you a better way of spotting them before they come. Because you go with the changes, because you're open to everything, you're going to spot the, the, the things that don't match or work, the energies that are fighting you, the energies that are toxic, you're going to be able to spot them a lot faster. See? Like you have all of these birds, and you can sit there and pretend to be a bird, but she's observing, okay? She's going to be able to tell what's going on. It's going to make you a master observer of the world around you so that you're able to go with the flow and go with the changes. All right, Pisces, so this has been a great, 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 great reading. I'm going to do the extended later. I hope that you can join me then. And uh, I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. Take care. Hello, beautiful Pisces. Now, here's a part of the video that if you're not subscribed already, I'm going to ask you to do that right now. Click that notification bell to all. Why don't you leave a like and a comment once you're done watching. All of this helps support this channel. I post twice a day, 9.45 a.m. and 9.45 p.m. for the extended Eastern Time. I have a Patreon link. I have also affiliate links to all the cards below and a one-time donation link. Right now, if you join my personal website, which is free, you get a free video not available anywhere from me as a thank you. This website will be the key to any free or paid readings and giveaways I may do in the future. Thank you so much for your time. I'm going to let you get back to your reading now. Take care.